Talk to you later. Bye. Where are my keys? Here they are. Where's my phone? I just had a minute ago. Excuse me. Have you seen my phone? Because I had it just a minute ago and it's not anywhere in the parking lot and you're the only person here. I don't have your phone, okay? I, I gotta go. I'm not letting you get away with this. What? Okay, darling, listen, I'm just about to get to my car. I gotta go. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. Where are my keys? Ah, okay. Here they are. All right. Oh, really? Where's my phone? I just had a minute ago. It's not going to be in the car because I just had it. Where could it be? Excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Have you seen my phone? I literally just lost it. Um, no, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm afraid I have not seen your phone. Okay, you sure? Yes, I'm sure. But are you really sure? Because listen, I can't live without my phone, please. Listen, I understand, ma'am, but I have not seen your phone at all. Well, that's strange. Because I had it just a minute ago, and it's not anywhere in the parking lot, and you're the only person here. Ma'am, what's the issue here? I already told you, I don't have your phone, okay? I, I gotta go. Wait, stop. Uh, lady, wh what's your problem? What are you doing? Listen, mister, my husband is an officer on the police force. I could get you in a lot of trouble, but I'm not gonna do that. Just give me back my phone and let's call it a day, okay? Wow, what, what, wait, what? Ma'am, listen. I told you once, I'll tell you twice, and I'll tell you a thousand times, I do not have your phone, okay? Okay, I get it. Black man in the parking lot, so you automatically assume that I took it. But guess what? I didn't, all right? Look, let's not make this harder than it has to be. Just give it back and I'll leave you alone. Listen, ma'am, I don't have time for your racist, biased accusations against me, okay? I have better things to do, all right? Goodbye. not letting you get away with this, okay? You hear me? Crazy. Oh, oh. Unbelievable. I am gonna get him so good. So yeah, I gotta be the highlight of my day. now lady what what is wrong with you what are you doing uh, you know what I can't take it anymore you know what I'm calling the cop oh please do and tell them to send my husband sergeant Mike Green wow you are really serious about this sergeant Michael Green guy or whatever the case is yes I am he's gonna come here and set you straight right away all right I guess I will whatever don't matter to me Hello, yes, is this the police department? Yes, I am at the parking lot of the mall right now and there's a lady accusing me of stealing her phone in which I did not do. Yes, 
Yes, she keeps asking and insisting that I return the phone to her, in which I do not have. Yes, and she also blocked me into the parking spot, so now I can't even leave if I wanted to. Tell the operator to send Sergeant Mike Green. Oh yeah, and she just keeps mentioning some guy named Sergeant Michael Green or something like that. I guess that's her husband or something, I'm not too sure. But yes, can you send him or anybody else? It doesn't matter to me. As long as they can get here quickly, please. Okay, thank you. I'll be here. Thank you. Mister, you are in trouble now. Lady, you are nuts. You're completely out of it. Can't believe you just blocked me in like this. This is crazy. <sighs> Took my phone. I don't have your phone. Says you. Don't worry, you'll find out the hard way. Why is my husband not here? I specifically asked for Sergeant Mike Green. Okay, well, hello. Let me guess, you must be Mildred Green. I am, and why is he not here? Well, he's aware that you wanted him to be here today, but he sent me instead. Why would he do that? Because this isn't the first time you've called him when you got into trouble at a traffic stop. Okay, so? Because he thinks it's a conflict of interest if he keeps showing up every time you get into trouble. Conflict of interest? I'm not in trouble, he is. Whatever, just take it up with him later, all right? <laughs> the audacity of that man, wait till I get him home. Can we please just get to the bottom of this? Let's start at the beginning. I need IDs from both of you. Sure, officer. All right, Mildred Green and Calvin White. There you go. Calvin, you're the one that called us, correct? Yes, sir. All right, let's start with you. Could you please tell your side of the story? Well, it's pretty simple. I was walking back towards my car, and then this lady approached me asking me if I saw her phone. I told her, no, I don't have it. And then that's when she just kept insisting and kept on asking me. So then she also started mentioning something about her husband being some sort of sergeant of the police department or something like that. Okay, and then what happened? Then I got tired of it, so I just kept walking towards my car. Then she got in her vehicle and boxed me in. So that's when I called you guys. I understand. All right, Mildred, would you mind telling me your side? Sure. So I did a little bit of shopping and then I was walking towards my car when I realized my phone wasn't in my purse. So I searched my car, but it was nowhere to be found. And you're sure that you searched your car thoroughly? Well, yes, of course. So then I thought I may have accidentally dropped it in the parking lot, but couldn't find it anywhere. And then I saw him. He was the only person in the parking lot, so I knew that he took it. You mean I was the only African-American in the parking lot. So of course you assumed that I took it. How do you know you didn't just leave it somewhere at the mall? Because I was talking on it before I got to my car. Okay, so basically you lost your phone somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then without any proof whatsoever, you're blaming this gentleman for stealing it. Then you proceed to stop him from driving by blocking his car with your car. Does that make any sense to you? Yeah. I mean, look at him. I wasn't about to let him get away with it. He took my phone. All right, you know what? I've heard enough. Calvin, you're free to go. If you choose to do so, you can file a complaint against her for harassment and holding you against your will. Mm, nah, let her go. I got better things to do. What, 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 what are you talking about? Aren't you going to frisk him? Did you not hear me? I lost my phone. Ma'am, you need to calm down. <laughs> Don't tell me to calm down, you little twerp. You know what? Now I know why Sergeant Green didn't want to be down here today. You are an entitled, miserable, prejudiced woman. You're lucky that this man doesn't want to file a complaint against you. Him? <laughs> he couldn't hurt me if his life was depending on it. You're unbelievable, you know that? You know what, officer? What's going on, Calvin? I think I changed my mind, and I'm going to go ahead and file those charges against her. What was it you said? Harassment and... Um, what was those other charges? Holding you against your will. Holding me against my will, yes sir. Those two definitely stand up for what happened here today. We could also add reckless driving and disturbing the peace. 
Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, go ahead and add all of those to the list. Yeah, we'll do that. Perfect. Mildred Green, please turn around. You are under arrest. What? For all the charges that we just mentioned. What? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Wait, that, that's my phone. It's coming from the back of my car. Your phone. Go get it. Huh, look at that. It's Sergeant Green. Oh. Well, answer it. Tell him to get here so I can get out of these cuffs. Hey, Sarge. Yeah, it's Officer Jacobs. We're just wrapping up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm with, with your wife and the man that she accused of stealing a phone. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I took care of it. He's filing complaints about her on a bunch of stuff. That indeed, that indeed. Understood. Uh, yeah, she's in handcuffs right now, getting ready to take her to the station. All right, I'll uh, talk to you then. And? And what? What did he say? Nothing. He didn't tell you to take these damn cuffs off and let me go? No, he, he didn't. Uh, he's fully aware that you're in the cuffs, though, and he, he knows you're going to the station. Uh, he was actually fine with it. How could that be? I don't know. Not my problem. Let's go. No, you can't. I... I'll be right back to move her car for you, okay? Thank you, officer. I appreciate it. No problem. You're welcome, sir. Thanks, buddy. Let's go, Karen. Move. <laughs> Please, you can't do this. I've never been to jail. Enough. Before. Just get in the car. No, please. In the car. You Move. Can. Please. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. All right, let's get this car out of the way for you. Thank you, officer. I really appreciate it, man. That lady is nuts. Nuts. How do you do that on a regular basis, man?